And so, in account of this, we must always be grateful for the life we have. And the most fitting manner that we show Him, God, our gratitude for this life freely given is to always be for Him. And so, my dear friends, live your life in a way fitting to that of the life of God's children. Live your life in obedience to His will. Live your life in such a way that when people see you, they see God. When people see you, they see God. Again, we have St. Augustine, and he said, Humans were created in the image of God. True freedom, then, is not found in moving away from that image, but only in living it out. Humans were created in the image of God. True freedom then is not found in moving away from that image, but only in living it out. And so, my dear friends, as we celebrate today the birth of Our Lady, remember, protect life and be for life. Be grateful for your life and to the source of life itself, God. Please stand. In his word, the Lord has spoken to us. Now let us speak confidently to him as we raise our hearts, our minds, and our voices in prayer. With Mary in confidence we say, Father, receive our prayer. Father, receive our prayer. That the church, like her Lord and Savior, may be both gentle and frank in presenting the demands of the gospel in her preaching and teaching, we pray. Father, Father, receive our prayer. That our local and national leaders, including world leaders, may have a deeper commitment to the teachings of our faith and not be seduced by illusions of wealth, fame, power, or control, we pray. Father, Father receive our prayer. That those burdened by hunger or poverty, especially our brothers and sisters in Pakistan and Africa, may be sustained by our love and concern, inspire the first world countries, the wealthy and comfortable to be more generous, we pray. Father, receive our prayer. That each of us may have a deeper awareness of God's presence in our lives and in our school community. May we learn to live each day as faithful disciples, trusting in God's promises and, and in serving others who are in need, we pray. Father, receive our prayer. That we put an end to prejudice, judgment, violence, and war, especially in Ukraine and Nigeria. Inspire all people to be peacemakers, to courageously end divisions within the human family, and to promote peace, justice, and reconciliation, we pray. Father, Father receive our prayer. We pray for all our sick brothers and sisters, members of our community, our loved ones, friends, benefactors, especially for Edgardo Ramirez Sr. and Monsignor Jose Maria Delgado. May they find consolation, healing, and strength in the risen Jesus, we pray. Father, receive our prayer. For those who celebrate life during this month of September, we pray especially for Karen Helioani, Michael Angelo Dejando, Sister Charmaine de la Cruz, Ana Lisa Caliugas, Ana Mercedes Amoncho, Shaika Eva Nomanana, Sister Mary Clements, Sister Sandra, Gemera Satalaman, Mary Ann Tubongbanwa, and Sister Agnes Miriam Lomboy. May they, like Mary, be your simple and humble servants. May the people they encounter experience the presence of Jesus, we pray. Father, receive our prayer. 
May those who have gone ahead of us enter into God's light. We pray for Ceci Magsaysay, Thomas Rustomersales Sr., Rolando Escleto, Rolando Semacho, Jean Sabedong, Macau Sir Macalangan, and all our beloved dead. We pray. Father, receive our prayer. May we, like Mary, grow in our discipleship through our prayers and our participation in the Eucharist. This we ask through Christ our Lord, Amen. one with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate with joy the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offerings, O Lord, and we humbly pray to be given strength by the humanity of your Son, who from her was pleased to take flesh who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name and the nativity of the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Please kneel. 
You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Romeo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, roof but, only but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Christi, custodiat me in vitam eternam. Sanguis Christi, custodiat me, vitam eternam. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who cannot physically receive the Eucharist, you can receive Christ by saying the prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your church exalt, O Lord, for you have renewed her with these sacred mysteries as she rejoices in the nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which, has, which was the hope and the daybreak of salvation for all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Together, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saint Marie Eugenie of Jesus, please stand. May we request our September birthday celebrators to come in front for the blessing. For those who are joining us online, please bow your head as you receive the said blessing. Brothers and sisters, let us raise our right hands towards our birthday celebrators for this month. Lord, loving Father, source of all life, you have blessed the Blessed Mother with life. May you bless also this your servants as they stand before you. Grant them protection, grant them wisdom, and grant them the necessary grace as they follow your will. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday. So you remember their faces because they will be the ones to treat us for snacks for the whole of September. The Assumption Iloilo community would like to express our deepest gratitude 
the Reverend Father Gremar Laxon for celebrating the Eucharist with us today and for the inspiring homily. May God bless you a hundredfold in your ministry and grant you good health always. Love and gratitude. Likewise, we thank our learners, parents, alumni, and friends for joining us live online through our social media platforms. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Thank you for joining us in today's Eucharistic celebration. We will now resume with our regular schedule. Have a blessed day.